Let me see my license. Let me give you the ID. No, my name's Casey. I'm in, uh, I'm in DI, a band. And uh, I made up SD, Social Distortion, in like 1979. I joined the adolescents and uh, in 1982, did a couple records with them. Joined DI in like, uh, or started DI in like about 84 or 5. Put out like a bunch of like punk rock music. And like just fucking had fun all the time. And now things are going good for DI. Things are really good. It's been like about like 15, 20 years past I made up SD. And uh, things are like kind of oppressed in like the USA because like it seems like people are like the cops are busting people in so many minor situations that like originality and creativity are getting like stuffed by bureaucracy. Damn, I didn't know that you were an adolescent. So I should have brought yeah, you my Yeah, I was a Really? That's awesome, dude. Dude, I was drumming for uh, Social Distortion. I made a band of Mike Ness will never, ever be able to like get it out of his heart that he said that he made the name up. Right. Uh, it's all awesome, good, but I don't care. We're all friends. It's all good. Right, right, right. We lost Dennis. We lost Joey Ramone. We lost a lot of good people. But the guy is like strong and uh, and uh, but the reflection of like touring in Europe and touring around the world and I uh, looking at the United States as a monetary kind of like aspect to get the cash out of like the people to fund our society just makes people like mad and they like to create madness because that makes more funds for society. The more you aggravate people and bust them with more probation and like do that, you get more like a generation of like, you know, cash for Big Brother. So people are kind of going crazy because like this country seems to be seeing other countries based on like uh, exploiting people's rights and telling people that they're free and they have rights in a hypocritical way. It doesn't make sense, you know, because like it's all... It's driving me crazy, you know. DI stands for just taking care of like consciousness and like uh, the awareness of like uh, how systems work together. And uh, you got to be able to see through the monetary aspect and get through it, so you don't get in trouble, exploited, or just condemned or put on probation or put in prison for just being on drugs or something stupid. And uh, I think it's really a crazy, crazy scene. So thanks for interviewing us, and I love you. I wanted to ask you, like, how many releases do you have? Uh, you said you had a new record. Uh, we got out. like a dude. Uh, Conflict of Interest, a Judd Nelson movie. Right. Have you seen that one? No. It's like Shiva Shiva. We did a soundtrack thing for it, like Judd Nelson, like you know, got the Breakfast Club or whatever. It's like Dick. All right. He did a of interest and like Chiva Chi was in it and like another thing SLC Punk that like took Amoeba from the adolescence my old band right, right. and then like uh, a lot those of Vandals did that thing that SLC Punk didn't they they, they, they were, were talking about that, yeah. yeah but right. I don't know I love the Vandals I love Joe and all those boys you know right. Dave they're all good but uh shit it's weird how like uh, punk rock has become such a mainstream kind of strange thing because like it got to a point where like Green Day and Offspring got to be kind of um, right. kind of like punk and it was just kind of smooth punk you know like when Bad Religion put out all their stuff which is good I love them right. well, I like those guys they're nice and friends right, right. but everything got kind of like poppy bro. Well, I understand that, they said totally. that's punk I mean because I mean <laughs> my favorite band were like Angry Samoans nice Weasel yeah yeah Igloo Abortions I did Dick Dickies. Yeah, right, exactly. So, dude, they're on tour. They got a new record out. The Dickies are? Oh, dude, like the guitar player Trevor told me, like, uh, new Dickies record is the best one they've put out in like 10 years. Ago. God damn, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm stoked because I love those guys. The Lanterns got a voice, they're king. What about, have you ever had a mullet? And that's like one of our favorite. You never had a mullet? Never. Um, what, what would you consider like your favorite show out of all the shows you've played? What's your most memorable I think show? my most memorable show is like when we played like a. Up in like the Continental in the uh, Lower East Side of Manhattan, right. and uh, it was free walking cheetahs and DI did like you know we've been touring together for like about fucking ever, and uh, we did a tribute song for Joey, and we did tonight, you know, and it was fucking so intense because like uh, the the people working at the club were like uh, just like fucking so like so sad. It was fucking, it was, it was like almost like we shouldn't have done that song. Right. Because they were almost to the point where all, you know, like they missed him so much. Right. It was like hitting him so hard in the heart. Right, right. It's making me want to cry right now, so fuck you. I'm sorry.